Hi everyone, welcome to lecture 2B of um, stress related illness and the immune system. So um, I did promise that I was going to show you a the 12 mark um, answer written out fully. Okay, so first things first, when you see a question like this, outline and evaluate. Okay, so the outline, meaning your AO1, which is to just demonstrate your knowledge and understanding of research. And evaluate is obviously strengths and weaknesses. Okay, so um, this is a key research, um, which was asked around four years ago. So it's quite a long time ago to know. And so they always give you a box. To say plan your answer here now i will not i cannot tell you even as an adult and i've been teaching this for many many years how important it is to use this box now what i done remember when i told you in lecture um 2a that um only use two studies yeah those are the only two studies that you need for um, each section, at least two studies, because it will help you write your 12 mark essay. So what I done basically is, because there's so much studies to know, I basically just said, okay, I'm just gonna focus on these two. I read over them briefly, and what I done in this box was just memory, yeah? Um, I start, I, I, wanna, um, I wanna basically feel how it feels i just basically want to know how it feels like as students because it's been a very long time ago since i've actually done this and obviously everyone's complaining about remembering studies so what i've done in this box is after i briefly read over my two studies my two, two key studies i basically used two to three minutes remember it's a 12 mark question 12 um for 12 minutes yes a mark a minute plus two minutes at least for thinking time so i use two minutes here to do this like a little mini mind map or brainstorm whatever you want to call it so this is basically everything i remembered from head i did not even look at my um study cards or anything like that at all yes this is what i remembered and once I've done this here, I told you how important it is because even me, um, teaching this for many years and um, I've, I've actually got a psychology degree, I had to look back in this box to even help me um, to write my essay at times because I kind of like, what's, what's like, what happened next? And I kept looking back at this box. So you need to do this like a little mini regurgitation before you do anything. Otherwise you will get stuck and it will start turning into nonsense basically. Okay. So how many paragraphs did I do? I done one, two, three, four, around five paragraphs I've done, which is probably between um, 500 and something words. Yeah, looking at between 500 and um, 30 words or so, I think. So that's about right for a 12 mark essay. So I started straight into my first key study. I didn't start talking about once upon a time, there was a boy and he was really, yeah. A lot of people find it difficult to get straight. Actually, I did find it quite difficult to get straight into it. So what I did here was to say, Calcut Glazer tell conducted a study to investigate the relationships. I kind of cheated a bit by looking at the title and said what Calcut Glazer done to help me get into it. Because some people actually find it have have issues getting into it. Okay. Then remember day. Calcut Glazer, by the way, is a woman. Just to let you know, not he. But I said day here because et al basically means and others. So I'm using day continuously, and that stopped me from from writing Calcut Glazer all the time. Um, so I've done basically. I use my APFCs in terms of what her and her team done, who they done it on, medical students. Okay. So I only use as much as I can remember in this place. I, I remember I did not look back once. Yeah, because you have to be realistic here, especially when you're doing these essays of how much you can really remember. Um, I also put this now suggests very, very important after I've done my initial um, outline of the study. I have to say what it now suggests. And this is basically the conclusion. Obviously, that short term stress can affect our immune system, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so it's very, very important. You put what it now suggests. And what I've done here. Um, so, OK, let me just highlight this. So this will be my I put in yellow my AO1 stuff and this now suggest so being suggest is like a comment a little mini commentary like a little conclusion so that can even pass for 
um, AO2 commentary. So I just put that in blue because I'm putting it, I'm just basically talking about what it's now telling us, basically. So that can actually pass. Some people will disagree, but um, I would say I'll keep it there for now. And you're going to see why soon. Supporting evidence comes from now. I've used connect, nice little connective there. Supporting evidence. I don't just say malarkey. 1994 found blah blah blah. You have to basically make sure that your paragraphs interlink in some way. Additionally, in support that you can't just place a study there. So this is malarkey and what he found. And again, I also put what he also what um, his study also suggests about ongoing stress as well so this will be my little AO um, one bit and this suggests as well could be your little AO2 bit here as well okay so remember you're only for 12 marks you're only going to be getting six marks for your AO1 and six marks for your AO2 Okay, so I've outlined the key study, I've outlined another key study, because I've outlined another study, not in so much depth, because you don't really need to, I'm showing that I have a bit of breadth, like I'm not just a one trick pony, that I just didn't learn Kelcott Glazer, that's it, that I actually know something else in my little head, yeah, so the little tricks that we're doing. Right, to get onto our AO2 bits now, some people prefer to do AO2 as they go through the essay, like they do the study, they do AO2, but I just prefer just to, I'm quite a structured person, so I prefer to do it right at the end anyway, just to make sure. Now, what people do, the big issues that people have with their AO2 paragraphs is that they list, they do things that list like, yeah? Um, a problem with um, Kelcott Glazer's study is that it lacks population validity, because they only use medical students, therefore we cannot generalize, generalize to the entire population. That I cannot say is very annoying, especially for some examiners, because what they kind of, they, what they want you to do is to elaborate. Yeah, and students are very good at talking. I don't know why they have problems talking about this particular area. If you remember on my original key study card, I just basically had one strength that's it, or one criticism and one um and one um strengths. So I had one limitation, one strength. And that's exactly what I use making up my paragraphs here. But I spoke about my strengths. I spoke about my limitations. Let me read you this limitation. Okay. So a limitation of Calcutt Glazer's research is that they just use medical students. That is my point I'm making. Yeah, now I'm going to explain what is it about medical students. Medical students may not be like other types of students. For example, media students. Sorry for any media students, you know, I'm not trying to um, anyway, let's move on. <laughs> As they may face complete different types of pressure. Okay, that's that's you explaining a bit more about the differences between medical students and maybe media students. Not saying that media students don't have that so much work to deal with, but it's just a different ball game, really. A medical degree can generally be quite demanding in itself. Yeah, it takes seven years. Um, you know, a lot of hard work and a lot of pressure. Okay. Even though this research can be generalised to maybe other medical students, very, very important. A lot of people say, therefore, we cannot generalise this research. We can, because we can do it to other medical students. Yeah, We will have to be cautious when generalising to other types of students. Yeah. So again, we use the whole generalising thing, but we had to use it carefully. So we're not doing anything fancy here. We're just still working with what we got. Another issue is that the general population is not made up of students. There is the working population, like moi, children as well as old age citizens to consider and stress may not affect them in the same way as students. Okay, so that's you elaborating on your points about this whole population, about them just using medical students, but you're doing it in a stylish manner, which means you don't have to learn too much. Therefore, the research lacks population validity. You add a bit of a psychological term in there, bit more of a tick, ticking off there. That should be enough now to get you like between three marks already. Remember, you've probably done a bit of A2 above there as well already. Okay, so all of that will tick off as my A02. Right, now I've talked about my limitation. So what have I got here? My strength, raw life. The strength, however, of both researches, so I'm killing um, two birds with one stone here, is that it provides society with more information about how being under stress can affect our health. Full stop. 
Due to researches like these, stress coping programs have been developed to help people deal with any stress they may be going through, regardless of if they are students or other members of the population. So basically, I'm now talking a bit more about my previous limitation of the fact that they just use medical students or just students. I'm saying that based on a knowledge, we can use it to the more generic parts of the population. With more research like this being developed, we are able to increase our understanding into this issue and save more lives. So we're being like, um, we are, we're being really stylish here and really like cunning because we're showing that we know that what psychology is about, and psychology is about increasing our knowledge through research, and that's what, re what that's what it really is. So that would just be amazing. That's all that AO2 stuff. Yep. And then finally, you cannot ever have a 12 mark question without a conclusion. We need a conclusion. OK, so this is how a lot of people say we don't know how to write. We don't know how to write conclusions. Look at these examples. I'm going to give you plenty of examples throughout the whole lectures and you'll be fine at writing conclusions. Conclusions don't just generally mean you are stating what you've looked at in a study. This to conclude this study looked at Kelkut Glazer's research and found that this and that. We've already said that already. What else can we add to the table? Because conclusions can still get you marks because it's all about structure as well. Yeah, it's about structure and coherence. And you're and and basically, as an any academic essay, you need to finish it off with a nice con with a conclusion. You can't just finish it off there because that'd be too premature. Right. So to conclude, even though research has attempted to show us what stress can do to the immune system. So that's us telling us what we've done without actually telling it again there is still more to explore in this area for example if stress affects the immune system differently depending on the type of course you do that is amazing brilliant because you basically talked about in your limitation that there could be differences in the courses that people actually do in terms of their dealing with stress or if couple is couples married for a certain amount of years have had more stress related illnesses than those who have been married a short time. So, again, you are taking the research that you looked at and you're thinking about other things that could be explored. That is fantastic. Yeah. And then finally, as research develops, so will our understanding. Yeah, it's a bit corny, whatever, whatever. But at the end of the day, we're just looking to get grades here. And if it's going to get you the grades, just do it. Yeah. So that will be in, that will be more than enough for a brilliant a grade answer okay again anyone has any questions on this particular essay or any specific 12 mark essay just leave me a comment and i will try and get back to you okay so i'll see you in lecture three